action. Okay, so this is Josh's new main board. So it looks a heck of a lot like uh, the kind that would go in the master. Um, problems that we've been having of late, I keep pointing my finger to that mat. That's the temperature stuff mat. This is your old one, no? No. So what I think they did is that they took it off of a production line Master Pro and gave me that one. Okay, then I'm going to scrape off all of this uh, thermal mat so we can have... I at least hope that means they tested the board. <laughs> you know? So it's it's kind of like light at the end of the tunnel for me. Or they're like, this master doesn't work. Let's give him this board. <laughs> oh, I and hope not. <laughs> what do we do with this bent rim? Let's give it to draw. <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> So you're just using a razor blade to scrape off the... Yes. That comes off pretty easy. Yeah, it's not like sticky sticky. It's just a thermal conduction mat. So, the people that are super anal uh, will actually go into the main board of their wheel and they will remove the paint in this area. And they'll do that because paint does not conduct heat as well as the direct metal does. So, we're not going to do that because I don't think it's actually a problem. So, but I do respect the people that do it. All I want to do is make sure the area is nice and clean enough and flat. Because I'm going to put a crap load of thermal paste on there for the board too. So this is the heat sink down here. So the heat bleeds through the main board down to there. God, this thing looks so different. I get it. Oh man, it's hard to look at. It's almost there. <laughs> it's, it's almost there. Okay, so for anybody that's doing this with the thermal paste, um, I like to get the ones in the syringe. Um, you can also buy the little cups of it, but the reason I like the one in the syringe is because I will put like a hot dog shaped uh, bead of the stuff down the middle for it to all goop out. So we can also maybe get a little extra in the center part. And then what should happen is we should see this thermal paste goo out of the front and the back and the sides of the main board. Mm. Can also do a little bit of this if uh, we so desire. I'm going to just take uh, the razor blade and shush it around the, uh, the back here. like spackle. I would say this is an important part of the installation. And then the three little Phase connectors go towards the front. The screws for this are very long and they hold the display in as well. So we're going to, for now, 
just push down. There's a silicone mat in the middle, so I'm pushing down where that silicone mat is as well. You can see it's starting to ooze out from there. So if it's on this side first, then that means I need to push harder on this side to get it to the other side. And I can feel I'm already contacting the uh, the tray. And there we go. We've got it coming out the other side already. Anyway, the screws will take care of the rest, and then uh, we'll but we got a bead here, a bead here, and it'll be popping out the edges too. It takes a little while because this stuff is thick. And uh, the goal is the aluminum substrate of the main board should be in direct thermal contact with the metal tray. And this stuff pretty much just makes sure there's no air pocket between the two. Like a pancake. Huh? Because you're like, never mind, dude. Okay. I <laughs> Well, like when you're making crepes, right? It's like... Crepes? Why did you say crepes? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. 